what's going on family i am so happy to be here today oh my god this is our third video on our brand new youtube channel i swear i'm gonna stop counting down but i just get so excited coming on here and talking to you guys and getting connected and letting you know about all the crazy stuff that's going on in the world like the universe is just really booked and busy I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I mean, we're going to get into these YouTube videos, but you already know before we do that, I'm going to read you a truth or trivia question, and then we're going to go over the answer at the end of the video. If you guys know the answer, go ahead and comment it down below. So let's get into it. The question is, who tempered with the footballs used in the 2014 AFC championship game according to the deflate gate controversy deflate gate is that how you say it is that how you say it because that does not sound that does not sound right is that even a word did they misspell it or i just don't know what i'm talking about okay who tempered with the footballs used in the 2014 afc championship game according to deflate gate controversy i have no idea what this question is even about i don't know what deflate gate means i don't know if i'm saying it right if y'all know what is going on in this question let me know down below because i'm lost already so the multiple choice we have is a bill belichick b tom brady c peyton manning or d roger good goodell goodell <laughs> y'all i don't know I know y'all probably know where I'm coming from, but I don't know how to say these people's names. Whatever the question says, if y'all know anything about it, comment down below <laughs> and then we'll go from there and school me on anything that I might need to know in regards to that controversy. Anyways, guys, I'm so happy to have you guys here. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell down below and come and join our family. Come on, you guys. We are about to grow. We about to get big can nobody tell us anything this is about to be the best most popping youtube family on the planet so join us right here and right now better late than never never late is better let's get into these videos so you you you, you were on the island i was apparently i i don't know i said i was on the island they said I'm, and i'm like i don't go anywhere <laughs> apparently ma'am this is a very serious allegation. So where are you and where are you not? Okay, let's keep it moving. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right, guys. So we got to talk about the continued Hollywood meltdown slash panic over the Jeffrey Epstein docs. Okay, as more and more and more information is coming out about who was on the list, who was associated with Mr. Epstein and you know, possibly associated with the activities that he was doing, uh, participating in. Uh, again, you having a full-blown freakout, okay? As, again, as people speculate who may or may not have been connected to Mr. Epstein, um, you're having people in Hollywood basically threaten to sue anybody who simply ask questions about whether or not there may or may not have been some connection. Like, for example, Jimmy Kimmel. There's a full-blown panic that is happening at ESPN after Jimmy Kimmel. Hold on, I mean, first of all, it says Whoopi freaks out on air. I don't know if there's a second part to this, but it, it looked like she was pretty calm. That's a crazy question to be asked. Now, I understand um, people saying they're going to sue, kind of. Because if you have nothing to do with it, then you definitely don't want this to be brought up with your name beside it. But... Ah, dang, how do y'all feel about that? Do you feel like um, if you're not guilty, people just stay calm and say what they need to say? Or do you think um, because they're not guilty, they're going to be appalled by this information and they're going to just want to say, you know what, if y'all bring this up with my name, I'm suing because I'm not playing no games. So, or is that like a guilty vibe? Let me know what y'all think. Pebbles and bits got uh, his panties in a bunch over Aaron Rodgers insinuating that he might be on the list after uh, Jimmy Kimmel's and Bits got upset or got triggered by Aaron Rodgers uh, talking about the list uh, on Pat McAfee's show, okay? Uh, Jimmy Kimmel essentially tried to roast Aaron Rodgers first uh, for simply asking questions about the list, even though Aaron Rodgers never said anything about 
Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, and and Rogers shot back at Jimmy Kimmel and said, hey, Jimmy Kimmel obviously uh, is pretty nervous about the list coming out, right? He doesn't want the list coming out. Mm-hmm. And Jimmy Kimmel went into a full-blown meltdown, right? Uh, and now you have Pat McAfee basically running apologies on ESPN over Aaron Rodgers coming on the show and taking a jab at Jimmy Kimmel. I can see exactly why Jimmy Kimmel felt the way he felt, especially with his position. But I think Aaron was just trying to talk shit. Now, did it go too far? Uh, and a lot of people, uh, Jimmy Kimmel certainly said that was the case. We and I immediately parted happening, trying to be like, ooh, you know. But that is Aaron and Jimmy. They've been... Uh, Jousting a bit. I don't know, you know? So, like, we obviously don't like the fact that we're associated with anything negative ever. We like our show to be an uplifting one, a happy one, a fun one, but it's because we talk shit and try to make light of everything. Mm -hmm. Some things, obviously, people get very pissed off about, especially when they're that serious allegations. So we apologize for being a part of it. Can't wait to hear what Aaron has to say about it. Hopefully those two will just be able to settle this. Yeah, so you see now you heard that, okay? Uh, Who knows what may happen with Pat McAfee and ESPN. That marriage could be over sooner rather than later over Aaron Rodgers taking a jab at Jimmy Kimmel. Everybody's trying to make Jimmy Kimmel out to be some type of victim, even though this guy uh, routinely uses his platform to make jokes about Trump and his family members in ways that I don't really think are appropriate. But hey, he's a comedian and I'm not. Yo, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? Are they forgetting what we're really talking about? Like the situation, how serious it is. And they're saying that they don't want to be associated with like bad vibes and negativity. First of all, (laughs) if you're on that list or you have anything to do with it, you're going to have to talk about it. And that's going to be a privilege. You know what I'm saying? To explain yourself because... I feel like I feel like they're forgetting how serious this shit is. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. But you you see how they're, they're just making light of it. They just like, oh, we don't want to be involved. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, sir. No, sir. This is not. No, this is not. You can't pick and choose now. You can't pick and choose now. This is very serious. And if you are on that list, you better figure it out. Because until then, it's accurate. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they're just going to put anybody on there unless they're trying to set people up at this point. But listen, I got this list pulled up. I'm going to read y'all a few names that's on there after this video. But I just, it's like watching this video almost makes you forget how serious this situation is. Just like how they're talking about it. Like, uh, (laughs) you know, leave us out of it. This and that. I don't know. They need to figure it out going to complain about him making a joke. He's a comedian. But when somebody. All right, y'all. So anyways, that's the end of the video. Here's a few names that are on the list. Of course, we know Bill Clinton's on it. Um, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton. I think we have Prince Andrew. Yep, he's on there. Um, Stephen Hawking is on there. Now, I heard some crazy stuff about Stephen Hawking and the, the weird stuff that he liked to do. Okay, we got Kevin Spacey, Michael Jackson, uh, George Lucas. We can pull this list up, you guys, and see who's all on here. We have Heidi Klum, Naomi Campbell. We have Bruce Willis. It's a lot of people on here that we would not expect. It's Hollywood, so you expect it kind of like from whoever. Men and women, it doesn't matter. But at this point, I'm trying to figure out if like they had to go on there. And they had to become involved. So that way they were kind of like initiated into the Hollywood gang pretty much, you know. So that way they would have something on them. Maybe some videos, maybe some information, maybe them being on the list of being on the island, having some type of past, some type of proof that they were involved in some dirty, dirty. So that way, if you don't act right, we have something on you. And now look, they need to figure it out. Yeah, we need some answers. (laughs) We need some answers. And all them jokey jokes is not flying. What is going on, y'all? What is going on? What? I don't know. I don't know. 
I heard about all the crazy stuff going on um, in the tunnels, in the mattresses with the blood on it. This is so wild. You're telling me you dug a tunnel so you could go to church? Suspicious. Guilty. Mm -mm. Not buying it. What's the blood for? What's the blood about? What were, you, what were you doing in the tunnels? If you were going to church, you would have went from your house or whatever the... the location to go into the tunnels straight to church or if y'all met up there y'all would have did y'all would have been doing church stuff temple stuff this is mad crazy first nfl season and a record-setting performance for you what does this moment mean i mean it's been amazing wait 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 y'all got listen listen for people that don't know what's going on one of the videos is what he actually really said. The other video is um, them editing it for whatever their purpose is. So listen, before and after. Amazing being in this city for as short as I've been. First and foremost, I just want to give all glory and praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's been amazing. Y'all, hold on. I got to run that back. I got to run that back, y'all. Okay, so the first video, to make it clear, is the edited one of what they put out on the news, on Football Channel. It's on. Um, and then the second one is what he actually said. So look how different it is and look how they changed it up. And all because he was praising God. Moment mean? I mean, it's been amazing being in this city for as short as I've been. But okay. First and foremost, I just want to give a original praise my Lord and Savior of Jesus Christ. I mean, it's been amazing. You have to name it to claim it. So what is going on out here? Yo, what is going on out here? You know, that just, that just lets us know how much of a big deal God is. How much of a big deal and how much of a threat it is for them to take it out. Because if they were more powerful, they wouldn't have to take that out. They'd be like, go on, go on praise who you want to praise. But that, like I said, it lets you know. It lets you know. You know what I'm saying? It's a threat. So, anyways, that was a crazy one to me. I love that. I love how they expose stuff like that. I definitely want to see more videos. But it is what it is. We all know. Come on now. Let's keep it moving. Here's my definition of what wellness means to me. This is my definition, not yours. It's an idea. Because you're going to be... An orb and light appears yourself. above wellness Oprah's head. And then this happens. And balance. and balance doesn't mean all things are equal or at peace at all times. Oh. Oh. Shoes. You have to name it to claim it. So it wasn't as bad as Wendy Williams, you know, because they took her out. I think that really was like a shoe thing. Um, her pants were pretty baggy. I've experienced that type of uh, situation. So I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, that person is not my favorite. But that just looked like a wardrobe malfunction, you know. Anyways. Not cooking in nonstick pots. They're made with Teflon. Teflon is banned in all of Europe. Teflon released over 48 different chemicals in your food. Heavy metals lodged up in your brain causing dementia and memory loss and Alzheimer. Do you know that dementia and Alzheimer and memory loss is only caused by aluminum? Without aluminum, such disease does not exist. Now, where does the aluminum come from? Come from your deodorant. Mm. It come from the aluminum pots that you're cooking with and it come from those fucking nonstick pots that you keep cooking with. I see on a the commercial they're talking about, oh, nonstick pots. Oh, it's not going to stick. Ah, y'all niggas like dumbasses running out there <laughs> buying that shit. The only pots you should be cooking with is copper pots, stainless steel pots, cast iron pots, glass pots, or ceramic pots. 
Again, only pots you should be cooking with is copper pots, stainless steel pots, cast iron pots, mm -hmm. ceramic pots, or glass pots. Okay? No other pots. Do not cook in aluminum pots. Do not cook in nonstick pots. Okay? It's poisoning you. Heavy metals into your body. Now, I know people are going to ask, so what is a heavy metal? A heavy Write metal this down. is 12 times the Come weight on. of a water molecule, which means that your body can't really get rid of it. You see, this is why you got to use chlorophyll. Okay, the chlorophyll is going to bind with the heavy metals. Okay, first, before I keep playing this video, I need y'all to write this down. So a lot of times y'all want to make a difference in your life, but you don't know how to start. Th little things like this. Little things like this, you know what I'm saying? Little things in your diet, little things in your daily routine. But imagine how big of a difference that is. I mean, we already know that um, heavy metals cause all these diseases. If you don't, they do. Do some research on that. Um, all the stuff that they're spraying up in the air, you know, we can't help that. But we can definitely help what we have in our kitchen and what we have in our food and our ingredients. And so that's that's very interesting. I've actually been looking for copper um anything and i can't find it right now uh, i'm sure that amazon has it i just looked in regular stores but i do have some of these bad non-stick pans in the house and i want to get rid of them um and i do have some stainless steel so i'm definitely going to keep the stainless steel get rid of the other ones um i feel so bad when i cook in them i really do but they gotta go it really gotta go they got to go. But other than that, make that change. And then also let's let's see what he has to say in regards to getting rid of the metals that have already accumulated. Other than the cleansing baths that I already do with my family, um, one thing that I do want to get into is um, consuming cilantro. I know that gets rid of a lot of heavy metals, especially aluminum. I actually don't like cilantro, but I'm probably going to make me like little shots in the morning. Go ahead and drink it and get it over with, you know. But yeah, let's see what he has to say. Pull them out of the body. Did y'all hear about what happened? Okay, that was the end of the video. So anyways, guys, make that little difference. That'll make a big difference. Low change, big difference. Happened on Alaska Airlines. Pretty frightening. If this wasn't the end of Y'all see the big hole on the side of the plane? That's the door in the window that came off while the plane was thousands of feet in the air. My question is, where's the door? It's also said that the people who were supposed to be in those seats missed their flight. Now imagine they was in those seats with their seatbelts off. Mm -hmm. Here's what I want to say. Because the people who missed the flight probably were upset that they missed the flight. However, it was clearly meant for them to miss that flight. A lot of us miss different things. A lot of us go through different things that upset us. But in mm. all actuality, it's probably meant for us to go through those things. Mm -hmm. We may not understand it at the moment, but a lot of different storms we go through build us. A lot of different hardships we go through build us. And save so us. So rejoice in your tribulation, my brothers and sisters. Rejoice even in the hard times. Because it's actually the hard times that lets you know exactly just how good the good times are. God bless you. You guys, that is 100% true. I think only a few years back, um, I started not stressing out about things that are not working out. You know, I started trusting in um, the fact that this may be saving me so from something. There is a story about a lady losing her keys at the grocery store. She kept going to customer service. She kept going to the car back and forth and she could not find them for the longest time. She got super frustrated. I think she ended up calling somebody to come get her. But on the way back to the car, she literally realized that they were in one of her pockets. So then she finally got into her car. Also, she got a phone call at that moment stating that there was houses that got robbed in her neighborhood and a few people actually got killed. So imagine how that had saved her life. If she would have went back home early, you know, she could have been one of the victims that lost her life. So things like that happen to me so much. And I don't even worry about them anymore. I just say, you know what? 
If I'm supposed to be here, I'm supposed to be here. And when I get to that next destination, that's when I'll get there. Early, late, whatever. I'm going to be right on time, you know? He doesn't respect U.S. presidents because they are puppets in the hands of the deep state. But there is something that Putin deeply respects about the United States. Russia is a land power that historically focused on winning battles by its sheer number of people, which is why Russia has almost no navy. Russia's navy can barely protect Russia's coastlines. However, the United States has 13 aircraft carriers that can destroy any country thousands of miles away in a glimpse of an eye. A single U.S. aircraft carrier is probably more powerful than the entire Russian Air Force, and the U.S. has 13 of them, while Russia has just one aircraft carrier that's barely alive. Tell me what you think about this. Like, for some reason in my heart and in my soul, I just feel like the United States can't compared to what other countries have like China and Russia I just feel like they are so prepared and so ready I just don't think that the U.S. will be able to keep up I really don't you know I'm gonna mute this one it's super loud but this one is this one is cool Yeah, Putin got birds he could dap up. Listen, don't don't play with him. You United States, don't play with Putin. He got pigeons. He got pigeons he could dap up. Okay. Understand what that means. Understand what that means. We're not gonna get into it. It's real serious. It's real serious. He probably got birds out here. Okay. He doesn't even need people spies. He got birds out here. So if y'all see a pigeon outside, you know what's going on. 23rd, 2021, a guy by the name of John McAfee passed away. Those who don't know, John McAfee was a British American computer programmer, businessman, and two-time presidential candidate. Sought the Libertarian Party nomination for president of the United States back in 2016 and 2020. In 1987, he designed the first commercial antivirus software we all know today as McAfee Antivirus. On all the boring stuff out the way, you may ask, why are you talking about him today? That's because something about his death still doesn't sit right with me. On June 23rd, 2021, we were told that John McAfee was found dead in a Spanish prison of apparent suicide, right? Before he died, he was already on the radar of the shadow government, you can say. Because in 2019, a viral video went around of him exposing the deep state. What about how the presidents are only the face of the country and don't really have any actual power? But they say he killed himself, right? Back on November 30th of 2019, he tweeted this out. Subtle messages from U.S. officials saying, in effect, we're coming for you, McAfee. We're going to kill yourself. Response, he said, I got a tattoo today just in case. If I suicide myself, I didn't. I was whacked. Check my right arm. Alone is pretty weird. Also, he knew something was going to happen to him. So 15 days before his death, he tweeted this out. If anything ever happens to me, please know that 31 terabytes of files I have located on hard drives in my condo near 88th Street and Collins Avenue just north of Miami Beach. Weeks after that, someone tweeted out that the building had collapsed. Things really starting to look weird. And we have another tweet. Tweeted out October 15th of 2020. I am content in here. I have friends. The food is good. All is well. Know that if I hang myself, a la Epstein, it will be no fault of mine. Now at this point, come on. Come on, man. Like, what? People say that he might still be alive, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. You know if y'all want a longer video for my YouTube. Without further ado, let me show y'all the interview that may have got him killed. The deep state is a... Either they took him out or he's some type of computer engineer, scientist, slave in the dungeon now. Because I feel like, you know, people like him, they could use for their profit. Um, I feel like he would be worth more alive than dead. Um, so, yeah, you know, they might have him somewhere. You know, they they're snatching people up left and right. So why not snatch somebody that can do a lot of good? Um, the only other way that I would say he did unalive himself is um, if, you know, he knew that they would snatch him up and they would do all this and that to him to extract information from him. But um, due to that tattoo... I feel like that's less likely. It's unfortunate. Conspiracy theory of, of 
Uh, it's defined as the people within the U.S. government and military who are. One more thing. I know uh, y'all want to watch this video and everything, but imagine having amazing people like that. That would teach us amazing and beautiful things that would let our nation, you know, come up and grow and get better and heal. Not just what he has knowledge of computers wise, but just who he is, you know. So it is very unfortunate that this happens to all the good people and the true leaders. Are in secret control of government policy. <laughs> secret? <laughs> Please, people. The deep state is those people within the U.S. government that are career employees that cannot be fired by people that we elect by the Congress or the president. Um, there are the FCC, the, uh, the CIA, the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, the IRS. Are these people in control? Can they enact laws? Fuck yes. Uh, can we fire these people? No. Can presidents fire them? No. <laughs> it, it's designed that way so that political parties and political interests cannot affect the deep state, it is no secret. It is as open as it can be. The deep state does control America. I don't know if I'm going fucking crazy. You guys, let's wrap it up with our last video and see what he has to say. And I think it's very interesting because it is about 2024 and it's only the beginning. So let's get into it. But I swear to God, I'm seeing an overall theme of 2024 already. It's been two weeks and I'm seeing that us as a collective are choosing truth over lies. You see it with how the first trend of January is exposing the fact that this shit ain't even the actual new year. The astrological new year is March and slash April when nature starts to blossom. People choosing to align with nature over man-made lies. Cat Williams podcast having 50 million views exposing Hollywood in a week. 50 million views in a week. I'm sorry, Cat Williams has never been that popping. Everybody tried to cancel him and this and that, but he's always been a man of God. And now we start to see it. We see people canceling Lil Nas X over the, over the craziness that he's doing on the, on the media, mocking God, mocking Jesus, this, that, that. Again, it could just be me in my little echo chamber, but this shit looked like a collective awakening to me. Guys, how do you feel about what he just said? I feel like he's 100% right. Um, and that's just on a personal level. He's feeling the shift. He's feeling what's going on. And that's a lot of us today. We are ascending and just really coming together into what it's supposed to be. So we're really like an onion where we're peeling off all the lies beyond the structures that they have made for us. It feels great. But for the people that aren't used to all these things, it's a little bit confusing. That's what these YouTube channels are for. So we could talk about stuff like this and feel safe. And we have a bunch of amazing people around us just like us. So feel free to let me know down below anything that they, you may be feeling that's out of the ordinary or that you're not used to. Now on a lighter note, let's get back into this truth or trivia question that I absolutely chopped up because I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> But the question is, who tempered with the footballs used in the 2014 AFC Championship game according to the Deflate Gates controversy? So we have A, Bill Belichick, B, Tom Brady, C, Peyton Manning, or D, Roger Goodell. Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Don't make fun of me in the comments about my pronunciation, but you can definitely teach me on how to say that deflate gate word, or maybe that is how you say it. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys so much for being here. Once again, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell down below and come join our amazing and beautiful family that is brand new. And I know it's going to blossom fast and grow into something amazing. If you guys want to start any conversation or debate down below, please do so. Let's talk about it. Let's be open in our conversation and really get into some of these controversial things that are going in the world. But anyways, guys. Be good and do right and I will catch you on the next one.